Good afternoon and welcome to another video on my channel. Uh, sorry for the uh, lack of videos recently. Um, I've just been away on holiday or vacation. And um, so whilst I've been away, I've uh, decided to invest in an, an immersion RC uh, 600 MW receiver, which you can see down here. Um, this replaces the bog standard receiver that um, I, I had in the Scout at the beginning. And the reason for that is the amount of extra, let's say power that the immersion RC receiver has over the uh, standard Walkera one. When I mean power, I mean distance. So we're talking uh, a vast amount of uh, additional distance that your scout can go and the downlink from the GoPro um, via the um, immersion uh, to your receiver, uh, to your transmitter, should I say, it is vastly improved. We're talking over a kilometre. And in this video, I just want to run a quick uh, guide as to how it was installed uh, and what you're going to need to get it up and running. So what we have here um, is the Immersion RC600MW. You can purchase this through my website um, dronesco.uk and you can pick this up for approximately £35. Um, to be honest it is delivered from China. And what it is is that the it comes with a um, plastic uh, shrink wrap over it. Uh, it's not encased in plastic, so it's very exposed to some extent, and comes with this aerial which you can uh, also bend. Now it is recommended that you can go for some fat shark antennas, which are also available on my shop. Um, I've not got those purely because at the moment, for what they are. They are meant to, meant to be very, very good, but the price of them is quite expensive. So uh, this was about 35 and it comes with the aerial and the cables. Now, when it comes to hooking this up to the Scout, it's actually very simple. However, what I will show you is how this is done and you will need this additional cable here which is the GoPro one. The one that comes with the Scout uh, and comes with these little white um, connectors at the end, which generally plug into the receiver. It doesn't work like that. You're gonna need an additional cable, which is what I purchased. Again, that is available on the website uh, to purchase for uh, a couple of pounds. And um, so all in all, uh, just under £40 gets you the new receiver and the cable for the GoPro. So uh, what I'll do now is just cover the basics of the cabling. So what we have here is this is the power. The power goes into here and this is the regular cable that came with the Scout in the first place for the receiver with the red connectors here. And that plugs into the bottom of the receiver down here. That's part one. That's all fairly obvious and uh, easy to remember. The second cable is you are going to have to throw away the uh, Walkera GoPro cable and purchase another one because what you'll find is that um, the connector that it uses is completely different um, and it's a three prong um, thicker connector which um, is quite difficult to see. Um, let me just try and zoom in for you. And that's what you can see there is that it's the, uh, it's quite a chunkier connector. It's not the usual white, which is what this is down here. So, and that goes straight to the GoPro camera. So it's actually not too bad, but you can see all of this lot here, there's a lot of cabling, a lot more now. So I need to go and tuck that away and uh, hopefully have it ready for show. So I've put a bit of 3M double-sided tape uh, on the bottom here, so that was going to be mounted uh, against the scout, the only way it's going to be mounted. Something else was worth noting is here down the bottom, 
and we have basically the channels so that uh, you can select the various different channels to show up on your F12E transmitter. You've also got to turn it on. So uh, the first one here, you need to flick uh, down to turn the tr receiver on and then that will start getting your picture. So don't forget that, that's part of it as well. So we'll just uh, stick it to the Scout and then we're pretty much there. So it's installed now onto the Scout and the receiver or transmitter, depending on what way you wanna look at it, it's transmitting a picture that it's receiving from the GoPro. The uh, aerial is sticking down here to the left-hand side. I've put some cable ties now around here. It's not the prettiest in the world. It's not like a, a phantom where everything's neatly hidden. Uh, so, you know, the best we're gonna have to do with these wires here. But at the moment, it's not causing us any issues. And that was all stuck up there with uh, 3M double-sided sticky tape on the back. And so uh, it's all ready to go. Um, I've tested the gimbal. The additional, slight additional weighty cable here has had no effect at all. Uh, the only thing that I will say is the camera is now uh, turned around. So you're gonna have to flick the screen upwards. I'll show you now. So because of the cable, um, slightly chunkier here than any regular Walkera one, the GoPro has been turned upside down. Um, you should know hopefully how to work a GoPro um, to turn the recording uh, to, despite you know the, the hero being upside down, the recording will work the other way. That can all be done within the settings here. So that's what's needed to be done here, but it depends what type of cable you get. In my case, as I say, this was a bit more chunky than the regular one. That means I have to have it this way. But other than that, um, it doesn't make a blind bit of difference. So there we have it. I will be doing some test runs with it at some time in the future, I need to find a large open field with a good amount of distance so I can get it uh, away from me. Um, the local park does not allow that. So I will get something up for you very shortly. In the meantime, however, to order the uh, transmitter, uh, the Immersion RC600, the, uh, the wire here, and if you choose to upgrade the uh, aerial at the back to a fat shark, everything is on the website, which is dronesco.uk. There's a link in the description. Uh, in the meantime, um, thank you for watching, and uh, I'll be back again, hopefully, with more videos very shortly. Uh, in the meantime, um, please look over anything, uh, and if you've got any questions, please do let me know. I welcome everyone's feedback and also I welcome your feedback on the immersion if you've already got it. But certainly from, you know, speaking to people, they're getting well over a kilometre, which is good. Fantastic. So I appreciate everyone's help um, when I've had questions myself. And, uh, you know, please like the video. Please subscribe to my channel for more and I'll catch up with you all again very soon. Thank you very much and goodbye.